Well, hello everyone. Uh, those of you that are new to my channel, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Go ahead and do it right now. Those of you that are returning subscribers, thanks for joining me once again. Today's video, I'm going to show you the different ingredients that I mix for the ration for my milk cow that I use during the milking process. So hang tight and I'll get on with the rest of the video. Okay, here we are. I'm going to show you the three main ingredients, or the only ingredients I should say, that I put in the ration that I use when I milk my cow morning and night. Right here is some alfalfa meal. This is a Kai's cheese container, three pound container. But this actually weighs, I weighed this up, this is just a pound and a half of alfalfa meal. Those of you that can't get your hands on alfalfa meal without going to a great extent, you can go to your local farm stores and buy alfalfa pellets. I did check online to see what they cost. And I found some for like $17.99 for a 40 pound bag. <clears throat> so I think that averaged out to uh, 75 cents. Be about 75 cents for that much if this was pellets. A pound and a half of pellets would be about 75 cents. Right here is beet pulp pellets. And I've been buying these. I've, I've, our local farm, farm store is Baumgars. And we don't have a tractor supply close. We have one down in Omaha and one uh, Yankton, South Dakota. But anyhow, that's the closest to me. But anyhow, they're $19.99 at Baumgars, our local farm store. But I happened to be in Omaha, Nebraska here a week ago. And went to Tractor Supply and they're only $14.99 so I picked myself up a couple bags. So that being said on the beet pulp pellets at $14.99 plus tax, right here is 33 cents worth of pellets. That is one pound of pellets and they come in a 50 pound bag. So I use two pounds a day or in other words 66 cents worth each day of milking. 33 cents per each milking. Right here is a small Cool Whip container, but anyways, what this is, is um, dried molasses, 38%. I don't remember what brand it was. Um, I'll show, show you a shot of it in, my, in this video of what brand it is. I'm not getting paid to promote any brands here or anything like that, but I'll just show you what I purchased. And I did pick them up at Fleet Farm because... Tractor Supply and Baumgars, those two local farm stores, or those two farm stores, didn't have it, but Fleet Farm did. And I do have a Fleet Farm local to me, so I was able to get this. And what I do is I end up putting in two of these scoops just like this. It ain't very big, but that happens to be eight ounces. So two of these, or no, sorry, four ounces. So two of these is eight ounces or half pound. And I put two of them scoops in the feed during each milking. So I use a pound a day. And that dried molasses is 22 cents for a half pound. But anyhow, what I do is I put these alfalfa pellets, this one pound of alfalfa pellets, in about a gallon, gallon and a half of water, and I let them soak and it rehydrates them and they expand. You definitely don't want to feed these dry. Right there is a five gallon bucket, it's probably about four inches deep of this beet pulp. It's rehydrated. And so then what I do is I dump in this uh, pound and a half of alfalfa meal and two of these scoops of this molasses, which is a half pound. So you're getting a, half and a, a pound and a half of dried alfalfa a half pound of dried molasses and of course one pound of alfalfa pellets rehydrated which gives you about four inches or so deep in this five gallon bucket and that's what I feed feed my uh, cow twice a day I feed it in the morning when I'm milking her and I feed it this is during milking time so I feed it in the morning when I'm milking her and in the evening the rest of the time she's on 
Well, I was going to say pasture. She's been on pasture, but now I got her in with the in the pen, and she's eating off of grass bales. But the total cost, if you actually had to buy the alfalfa pellets, a pound and a half at a time, and re rehydrate them, put them in this to, to make it wet and soak up the water, it cost me a dollar thirty for this each milking, so two dollars and sixty cents a day. But like I said, I got these this for free. And I do buy these two items. And so actually it's costing me right now 55 cents per milking. So a dollar ten a day rather than two sixty a day if I was having to buy the pellets. But anyhow, uh, a substitute for this dehydrated alfalfa meal, it, you can buy it, bags of it. And the bags of alfalfa meal is like $30, $31 for a 50 pound bag. And you can get the alfalfa pellets for $18 for a 40 pound bag. So you're better off buying the pellets and you can just dump a pound and a half of them in with your uh, beet pulp pellets when you're soaking them in water. Let them all hydrate, blend it up good, and then add eight ounces of the dried molasses. But a substitute for this is if you could get a good alfalfa bales and you have a way of grinding the alfalfa bales up or chopping it up really fine, like a chipper shredder where you can run it through a bunch of times, especially one that has a screen where you can put a small screen on there and screen it to where it gets finer pieces. Uh, not that you'd have to have it really fine like this is, but you could have a little, little bit coarser, but as long as you put about a pound and a half in with your beet pulp pellets that are soaked and your alfalfa pellets, or your uh, molasses, because you're gonna be putting your bale that you ground up. But anyhow, that would be a substitute, is get a good bale. Say you found a good alfalfa bale, a 60 pound bale, and got it for eight bucks a bale and you had a way of grinding it yourself, it only cost you 20 cents for that much alfalfa. A pound and a half alfalfa, it only cost you 20 cents per milking or 40 cents a day. So on top of this 55, another 20 cents, that would be only 75 cents for each milking, or a buck 50 a day for total cost. I hope I didn't run through that too fast where you didn't understand it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm gonna let y'all go, see y'all later, and don't forget I love you. Bye.